Hello, everyone. Today's poem is "Zheng Feng," Shu Yutian, a Zheng Wind from the Book of Songs. The title Shu Yutian means the junior brother was in the hunting field.、Uh, he was hunting in the wild. So this is a poem about the. Junior brother, as well as the hunting. So, who was the junior brother? So, just keep in mind the anyone has a name or has a name to call is a noble person. Ah,、uh, especially the big brother, the junior brother. They are the prince. Actually, so whenever you saw the term in the Book of Songs,、uh, like Bo, the big brother, uh, Zhong, the second brother, Shu, the third, two little brothers, between little brothers, and Ji, the most junior brother. So ge- generally speaking, if you have ten brothers, the biggest was. So called as Bo, and he is a prince who would ascend the throne when the father died. And the second is Zhong. So you can see a lot of places, uh, someone with titled with Zhong. So that's the second brother, and very likely the second brother is someone, uh, carry the very important duties in the. Uh, state or even in the uh, kingdom, uh, because the lord or the king will always uh, sitting at the back, uh, at the court, and the the second the junior brothers were were the key will hold the key positions in the states in the kingdom, so they will be assigned out. As a ambassador, as a general,、uh, for some of the wars, so that's the、uh, logic, or that's the social structure of that time of the Zhou Dynasty, and the Shu、uh, basically is equals to the Zhong. He is the、uh, third, fourth, fifth、uh, brothers. In the family, so they are all called as Shu. So there, there could be many、uh, brothers titled as Shu. So normally we will call it as Shu plus his name. Let's see, my name is Hui. So I could be if I'm a junior brother, the、uh, after the big brother, after the second、uh, brother, I could be called. I'm the let, let's see, I'm the fourth brother in this. Family, I would be called as Shu Hui. So Hui is my given name, and the Ji is the last, the youngest brother. So,、uh, totally four、uh, names for the brothers Bo Zhong Shu Ji. So this poem is telling someone uh, uh, of the the brothers in between. So normally the biggest one is the prince, the king, uh, the king or the lord in the future, and the youngest normally、uh, arouses a lot of careness, uh, and uh, normally is the most adorable sons in this family, and、uh, so Shu is nothing in a traditional big Chinese family. So this poem is about a very famous junior brother in the Zheng State. So luckily, since the、uh, East Zhou Dynasty, since the Zheng State was founded, we had a chronicle history book. So we know a lot of details in that. Period of time, and before the East Zhou Dynasty, 
Uh, actually, we don't have too much of the history book. We don't know much of, about the history details. So that's why the poems in the Book of Songs is so hard to be、uh, related to the history fact, to a history fa- figure, because we don't have the history background. But anyhow, the King went, the Zheng went, and the Qin went. Later, we'll have some of poems in Qin went. They started since the East Zhou Dynasty. So,、uh, since this time, we have the Chronicle History Book, which was so called Chun Qiu Zuo Zhuan. And the first article in that history book. Is so called as Zheng Bo Ke Duan Yu Yan, the Lord of Zheng. He defeated the his brother Duan at the place of the Yan. Yan is the place name. So normally, especially in the、uh, past, this poem was related with the、uh, history figure. Duan, in this story. So let me give you the、uh, brief the story first. So the in the Zheng state, there's many princesses, and、uh, the biggest brother who would be the、uh, lord in the future, and a very famous prince, uh, na- uh, so called as Duan, and.、Uh, He is、uh, also the Shu Duan. So he was a Shu.、Uh, he was a junior brother, the third, the fourth brother in this big family.、Uh, according to the history book, he was so favored by the queen, his mother, and his mother want him to be the、uh, state lord in the future. But anyhow. The king refused this proposal.、Um, but anyhow, you know, there's some of the conflict, or there's some of the consequences has been built already. So later on, the big brother ascend to the throne as the Lord of Zheng State, and he assigned a very big and wealthy. Thief or manner to his junior brother, uh, Shu Duan, and a lot of the rumors about his junior brother Shu Duan that he will、uh, rebel sometime and he will take the whole state, or he wa- want to be the state lord. Someday,、uh, anyhow, the Lord,、uh, the big brother,、uh, didn't、uh, listen to those rumors until many years later. The rumors was finally confirmed as real fact. Thus, the state lord, the big brother, sent troops to defeat his junior brother and drive him. Out of the state, so that's the story, and、uh, this story is so famous because it was the first chapter in that history book, the first、uh, Chinese history book left it till today. Whenever you started to learn the Chinese history, or you l- learn the Classic Chinese literature. This is the first article you read. This is the first story you read, and、uh, there is a very famous、uh, textbook、uh, in the past. Gu Wen Guan Zhi.、Uh, normally, the the Chinese use that textbook for their study, and this book. Oh, sorry. This story is the first story. It is the first lesson、uh, for the kids.
Okay, that's the history start、uh, background of this poem. Why I'm talking so much about the history background? Uh, because we have talked many times that the poems in the stage winds normally are very very simple. So it's really hard for today's people to know what the, are they talking about. No,、nope. I I can guarantee you, each poems in the Book of Songs they are telling something matters really matters for the Zhou people. So. Uh, which may not important for today's people, but it it's really talking something matters. Maybe some history stories matters. Maybe some uh, virtues, uh, some moral standards, or some social rules matters, or some of the events matters. So each poems they are telling something really, really matters. What really matters in this poem? So just imagine, even in the contemporary world, where、uh, you and I we are living in a kingdom, a country of kingdoms. So we have a king or a queen, and、uh, it's quite normal. There are some of the songs, the poems, praising or even blaming to the king to the queen. Uh, so that's quite a normal things, right? But if the contemporary poems, the songs, they never talk about the kings, all the praise or even the blame poems and songs goes to the third, fourth prince. So what do you feel? Is it normal? Is it right? So just keep in mind. Uh, this poem shows a totally different、uh, subject with other poems in the Book of Songs, and also the Zheng Wind actually is was written at the very end、uh, period of the Book of Songs compared to other poems in the Book of Songs. Most poems in the Book of Songs. Was written in the West Zhou Dynasty, while the Zheng Wind was written in the East Zhou Dynasty, and、uh, it's a time of changing. The power of the king was totally lost. The capital was relocated from the Xi'an city to the Luoyang city, and、uh, there is no body. Take care of the interests or the public safety of the many states. So, if you are a state lord, you should take care of yourself before you just go to the、uh, king of Zhou, and the king of Zhou will send his help or his troops to resolve the problem. But now you should take.、Uh, Everything by yourself, and、uh, so there is some states was destroyed by other states. In some states, the princes start to fight for the throne. Before the throne was always went to the biggest brother, and now there's no rules. So that's the. Uh, background of this period. Okay, let's get to the poem. A very simple poem. Shu Yu Tian, Xiang Wu Ju Ren. The junior brother was hunting in the wild field, and there is nobody in the streets. Xiang, or sometimes it was read as Hang,、uh, in the Local dialect of Xi'an, it was read as Hang as well, so it means small narrow streets normally.、Uh, so, in the first sentence, actually they got give us two、uh, description to two places. The prince or the governor of this city 
he was hunting in the field, and on the other side, I'm the poet. I was still staying in the city, and there's nobody in the city. So the next sentence, let's see. 起无居人不如书也，逊美且人。Is that to say, there's nobody really? It doesn't mean that. It means nobody could compete. Nobody could be paralleled to the junior brother, to the governor of this city, and he is so trustworthy, beautiful, and he was with great mercy. Uh, the character Xun means、uh, the person is reliable, trustworthy. Mei is very beautiful, and、uh, it could also refers to that person was a giant in his size. He was very tall and big, so that could be another possible.、Uh, but today, Mei means very beautiful in the ancient time.、Uh, It means big, giant, and later on the meaning changed. 人 means mercy. And、uh, how we explain this first paragraph? Basically, the poet was uh, still uh, in the city. The city was the manor of this junior brother. So in the history stories. It was a big and wealthy、uh, city. In the poet's point of view, there is nobody in the city. But in fact, there, this is a very、uh, big, wealthy, and prosperous city, full of people. But in his eye, there is no people. Why? Because nobody could be paralleled to the. A、uh, junior brother who is far away in the wild, who is hunting right now. He's not in town, but in his mind, the junior brother, the figure of of the junior brother, or all the things about the junior brother, about the governor of the city, was full of his mind. He cannot see anyone、uh, who was.、Uh, Going back and forth or cross him, and finally he concluded that he is the most merciful. He is the big, brave, and trustworthy governor. So from the first paragraph,、uh, it's so easy for us to tell. It's a praising poem, a praising to the.、Uh, Governor of this city to the junior brother,、uh, but then how it, it、uh, employed some of the new writing techniques we have never seen、uh, in other poems in the Book of Songs. It's bragging, so, and it's also use imagination. So it's write his inner feelings and use braggings. So his brain was full of the. Junior brother who was not here, and、uh, so he was. I was blinded by the junior brother, so he cannot see the reality in front of him. There is nobody in this town. So the second and third paragraph basically、uh, is right is quite similar, almost identical. So it just changed some of the other aspects. Let's see. The second paragraph, 书与手相无饮酒 So the junior brother was hunting in the wild, and in the city there is nobody、uh, drinking. So uh, uh, another things you you need to know. So normally people live in the city as the, all the noble persons or at least the senior citizens. So they are the most、uh, favored group of people in the whole state, and、uh, so when the 
Johnny brother was out, uh, hunting somewhere in the wild. There is nobody drinking, so nobody has the entertainment. Drinking means enjoyment, entertainment. Nobody have the entertainment. Okay, let's see the next. 起舞饮酒不如书也，寻美且好。Is that to say that there is nobody drinking? Uh. In reality, of course not, because nobody could be paralleled. Nobody is as good as the junior brother, so there is nobody drinking. So here,、uh, it's a little hard to figure out. In the reality, there are some people drinking. Have entertainment, but in the eyes of this poet, there is nobody drinking, and there is nobody have the entertainment.、Uh, so my wild guess is that if someone someone has drinking or someone has an entertainment,、uh, so people would like to go to to drink together and have entertainment together, but. In the poet mind, or in the poet eyes, he was full of the sayings of the junior brother, and he even doesn't notice there is someone around who are drinking right now, who are have the entertainment right now. So he forgot, or he just cannot attend to the. His neighborhood to drink together to have entertainment together. So now、uh, that's my wild guess. So th- there's a little bit hard to figure out this part, but anyhow,、uh, it still expresses the same thing. The poet's mind was full of the junior brother who was the governor of this city, who is hunting in the wild, and、uh, the last sentence. 寻美且好 ，it basically press the same thing. The junior brother was trustworthy. He's reliable. He was so great, and he was so nice. Okay, the third paragraph. 舒适也，相无伏马。The junior brother went to the wild. Uh, so. Basically, it's the same meaning with the first and second paragraph. He went to the wild hunting. There is no chariot. There is no horses in the streets. On the streets, 伏马 uh refers to the horses attached to the chariot. So there are four horses, uh, for a chariot. The Two in the center was so called as cha fuma, and、uh, the two at both side was called as chama. So here fuma basically refers to the chariot, the horse, uh, with the horse together, a chariot. So the chariot, uh, we have explained many times, is a very very, uh, meaningful or. Very very typical、uh, articles in the Book of Songs. It's just like sometimes it's talking about the、uh, militia, the the power of the、uh, warriors. Sometimes it refers to the magnificent,、uh, the beautiful Lord. And here in the the. Cheer out in a city. Of course, it refers to how magnificent, how powerful, and how beautiful the Lord was. And、uh, it's just like I'll give you an example. It's just like、uh, today,、uh, the most luxury、uh, cars, Porsche,、uh, Lamborghini. So when you are walking on the street, a very luxury. A、uh, car was going,、uh, was passing in front of you, so it will be very eye attracting, and it、uh, also shows the driver are、uh, very very、uh, 
uh, something different, outstanding, right? So that's the、uh, th- same thing、uh, as a chariot in the Zhou Dynasty in the Book of Songs. So the first sentence、uh, is easy to understand. The junior brother went to the wild hunting, and the crowded, prosperous city. Suddenly, there is no chair out in front of me. Okay, let's continue. 岂无驸马，不如输也 Is that to say there is no chair out? Uh, in reality, of course not. This is a big and prosperous city, right? There is some chariots. The nobles take the chariots、uh, back and forth in the city. But the poet was totally blind right now. He was full of the sayings of the junior brother. He cannot see the、uh, outstanding, the magnificent chariot、uh, passing. In front of him, in the normal day, that was very eye attracting. But at this moment, the poet was totally blind. He cannot see the chariot. He cannot hear the sound of the chariot. The, the, just like today's people, the there is a very heavy sound,、uh, luxury car go through. The Lamborghini, right? And、uh, you cannot see that. You cannot hear that. You don't know it because your mind was full of something others. The junior brother. So, just try to feel the writing technique here. Okay, the last sentence of this poem: Xun Mei Qie Wu. The junior brother was、uh, trustworthy. He was great, and he was so powerful. Wu means the、uh, war, something related with war. Let's see, weapon, 武器 Ah,、uh, so Wu here means the junior brother was very powerful and capable, and he. Will be the most brave general and、uh, fighters in the battlefield. Okay, that's the whole poem. Very simple poem, actually, from the wordings,、uh, from the meaning in the surface. The it, the meaning in the surface is quite obvious that the junior brother, the governor of this city, the of this f- manor, of this. Faith is so welcome and so embraced by the people, by his citizens, and、uh, he was such outstanding, shining, brilliant, and he attracted everybody's eyes. He even blinded someone. The poet, of course, the poet was totally blinded by the brilliance of the. Uh, junior brother, and、uh, so that's the meaning in the surface. But a second thought is first thing first. We have so many poems in the Book of Songs, so about the state lot. Not a one is about the junior brothers, and、uh, we also know that the Zheng、uh, Wen was the. Uh, written at the m- most late was the most late written poems in the Book of Songs. So in the time when the poet write this poem, for sure he has read a lot of poems in the Book of Songs we have seen today, and、uh, he writes something so different. He write he prays to the junior brothers, and this is a total violation to the. Uh, moral standard of the Zhou people. The Zhou people is、uh, treat the social order the with the is the most important things. So the among the brothers, 
the big brothers is the king. In a family, the father is the king. In a country, the king is the only focal point. Nobody else. So in this poem, the focal point changed to the junior brothers, and he even、uh, revealed or make it very clear: the junior brother is so powerful, and he was so brave. He was so capable in the battlefield, and also another focal point in this poem: the wild hunting. Basically means basically equal to the war. So for the Zhou people, people went to the hunting field to practice their military skills, also to、uh, practice the military organization. So it's not a simple hunting. They formed the real army and then went to the Wild field and take the wild animals at the enemy, and then they do it as a war. So this poem, actually, if you are a Zhou people, you read two things is so different. First thing first, the focal point is not the king of the Zheng state. The second thing, so the Zhu Zhuner brother was so capable, and he was. A fighter. What do you feel, or what do you read out through this poem? So that's the、uh, my wild explanation or my wild guess. Maybe you could、uh, never find、uh, such explanations in other places.、Uh, so that's the hard part for the state wins. The surface, the meaning, the surface so easy. Is so simple, but what are they talking about? That's the that matters, right? Okay, that's for today. Bye bye.